If you've been watching our videos, you probably know that mysterious creatures can be found all over the world. These creatures usually end up washing up on a beach or, like Sasquatch, are seen lumbering through a forest. Some creatures prefer to remain hidden and live in the deepest oceans, and it's not until one washes up on the shore of a beach somewhere that anyone knows about it. And when it comes to dark and spooky places, what could be creepier than a mine? It would make sense that some creatures that didn't want to be found would live in these places. And in the case of prehistoric creatures, some never came out of their caves. With that, we bring you five most mysterious creatures found in mines. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With that being said, let's begin. Number 5. Mummified Monster some people might ask, who left the Hellgate open when they see this creature? In August of 2016, Siberian diamond miners reportedly dug up some weird, unidentified mammal from a diamond mine in Yudekni, which is in the Merninsky district of the Saka Republic, far away in northeastern Russia. Some people believe it's some kind of dinosaur never before seen. Well, that is what the diamond miners who unearthed this strange creature believe anyway. Of course, experts are skeptical and don't want people to get excited. Some people believe that the mysterious creature could be some type of wolverine, or perhaps some small bear which used to roam the Siberian wastelands. Because of the freezing temperatures, with the average temperature ranging from minus 110 degrees Fahrenheit to minus 95, the creature was almost perfectly mummified. Based on the photos that were taken of the creature, this mysterious animal appears to be some member of the Mustelidae, which are a family of carnivorous animals that include weasels, badgers, otters, minks, ferrets, martens, and wolverines. Of course, no one is absolutely sure what the mysterious creature really is. The creature appears to have a slim, ferret-like body and has four to five toes and a single claw on each, which isn't any stranger than a normal dog. However, the teeth on the strange-looking creature don't look like anything from a domestic animal that we know, like a fox or a dog or some kind of modern-day carnivore. Actually, the teeth on the creature more so resemble those of a saber-toothed cat, which is why many people think that this creature could have been down in the depths of the dark diamond mine for even millions of years. It could be possible that this animal might have been some prehistoric Siberian cat which hid in caves and came out during the day to hunt small mammals. The town that the diamond mine is in dates clear back to the Mesozoic era from about 250 to 66 million years ago. Perhaps this is the well-preserved mummy of a prehistoric creature from that age. It sure would be a spooky thing to come across while digging in a deep and dark mine. Number 4. San Pedro Mountains Mummy there's an old tale of two gold prospectors who, in 1934, had been digging and blasting the San Pedro Mountains in Wyoming looking for golden shiny stuff. While working, they came across a small cavern which was buried deep within the thick rock. As the dust began to settle, the two prospectors had made a startling discovery within the cavern. It seemed as though they had found well-preserved remains of a tiny human which time had long forgotten. The origin of this tiny human was a complete mystery. Some local Native American tribes had been known to tell stories of some legendary tiny people or little spirits. They called these tiny people Nymeriga and claimed that these small people had some magical and healing powers. In some of these stories, they were told as peaceful people, and in other stories, they were said to be a vicious tribe who attacked native Indians with poison darts and arrows. A lot of attention was drawn to the area over the discovery of the mummified remains. There was a lot of questions and a lot of controversies, and many doubted the veracity of the prospector's story. Many people believed that the remains were fabricated and the whole story was a hoax. Despite all this, many scientists decided to flock to the area, all with the deep desire to find out the truth behind the little person who the people had started calling Pedro. This tiny human wasn't very big at all and only sat at a height of about six and a half inches. It was estimated that if Pedro had been standing up, he would be about 14 inches tall. Because of this, it was clear that these were no ordinary human remains. Scientists got a hold of the mummy and started to do extensive testing. The mummy was found in a sitting position with its legs crossed on a small ledge and the cave appeared to be man-made. The creature was kinda creepy and had bulging eyes in a flat cranium. 
It was also noted that Pedro was extremely well-preserved, so much that even his fingernails were visible. A weird, gelatinous substance covered the mummy's head. It was clear by now that some liquids had been used to preserve his body. The nose of Pedro was flattened, and he seemed to have a full set of teeth, which would, of course, debunk the idea that it was a baby. The mummy's skin was brown and wrinkled, and it created the appearance of an old man. Despite this, many anthropologists concluded that the remains must be those of an infant, but other anthropologists disagree and say the remains must be those of an adult from 16 to 65 years of age. X-rays were done and they showed sharp teeth and the presence of food in the stomach, which appeared to be raw meat. So is this really a tiny human that disappeared from long ago? We may never know. Number 3. Van Meter Monster there's a creature that apparently now lives deep within a mine shaft, but the creature itself and how it got there is a mystery that is still unsolved. This unsolved mystery is a bizarre legend which has haunted a small Iowa town for more than 100 years. In 1903, over the course of several nights in the small town of Van Meter, Iowa, the people were terrorized by a giant bat-like winged creature that came out of an old abandoned mine. The identity of the mysterious creature has remained unsolved. It was the fall of 1903 when several of Van Meter citizens, who were all respected, reported that they had seen a half-human, half-animal looking creature with huge, leathery, and smooth bat wings flying around the small town. This creature had some weird traits and was described as being able to move so fast that the people had never seen anything like it before in their entire lives. It was said that the creature smelled terrible and gave off a powerful stench and was able to shoot a blinding light from its horrible horned head. Each time the people in the town encountered the creature, they fired their guns at it, but their guns appeared to have no impact on the winged creature. The first night that it was spotted, it was flying across the tops of buildings. On the next night, it was spotted by the town doctor and a bank cashier, who ended up taking plaster casts of its big feet, which were described as great three-toed tracks. On the third night, the creature was seen again by a man who spotted it perched atop a telephone pole. Someone else who saw the creature said that it was hopping like a kangaroo, while a teacher in the small town said that it looked like the devil himself. The townsfolk became scared and angered by what they had witnessed and ended up following the creature to an abandoned coal mine which was near an old brickyard. They had heard noise coming from the mine and the people said it was as though Satan and a regiment of his imps were coming forth for battle. Well, that's what the article in the Des Moines Daily News from October 3rd, 1903 was quoted as saying. The people then entered the mine with weapons to destroy the creature. They descended into the mine, but the creature was never seen again. Number 2. Tully Monster this is the story of a creature that was found in Illinois' coal mining region back in 1955. The creature, which stretches more than a foot long, resembled a tiny version of the Loch Ness Monster. It was amateur fossil hunters who found the strange prehistoric creature in the 300 million year old rock near the Maison Creek Geological Deposits, which is southeast of Chicago, Illinois. The creature looked like a monster and had a torpedo-like body and eyes like a hammerhead shark. It also had a long proboscis like a mosquito which was filled with sharp teeth at the end. The thing is that no one knew about this creature at all, and it was classified as Problematica. This is a substitute taxon which is used for organisms that cannot be identified or classified. The creature did have a name, Tolomonstrum gregarium, which was given to it in honor of the man who discovered it. But despite this, the fossilized specimen had defied any sort of classification, such as the same story of trying to identify Superman. The people didn't know if Superman was a bird or a plane, and in this case, a fish, mollusk, or some other kind of creature. The Tully monster has remained a mystery, and the creature could be related to almost anything, including fish, snails, insects, or even some eel-like protovertebrates, which are called conodonts. The interesting thing about Tully's monster is that it comes from only a single locality, and it has never been found anywhere else in the world. Number 1. Mexico's Nica Mine. Well, we like to save the best for last usually and found something really interesting. Many people might be familiar with Mexico's Nica Mine. 
photographs of the mine always look fake, as there are people walking across huge crystals. In fact, even scientists had seen pictures and assumed that they were photoshopped. But in fact, the massive crystals are real, and they're as giant as you see in the photographs. However, this isn't about the crystals in the mine itself. This is about the creatures which were found trapped inside of the giant crystals. The weird life forms that were found trapped inside these giant underground crystals were discovered to subsist on iron, sulfur, and other chemicals, which is extraordinary. The microbial life forms are new to science and prove that many life forms existed in extremely harsh conditions and were able to survive things not thought possible. This cave of crystals was first discovered as miners were hauling up lead and silver. This involved pumping out the groundwater out of the caverns. It was then that the labyrinth of the milky white crystals was discovered. The interesting thing about the creatures that were trapped inside the crystals is that they lay dormant in a stasis. But despite being between 10,000 and 50,000 years old, a team was able to wake up some of the dormant microbes and they are now growing in a lab. It sounds like the beginning of a horrifying science fiction movie. And while that might sound outlandish, there have been reports of waking up microbes that are thousands of years old, even millions of years old. Hope you enjoyed the video, Top Fivers. If you haven't already, check out our other channel, Americano, to enjoy even more amazing list videos. There'll be a link in the description, so check it out, as well as our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.